welcome back to the Improvement Channel. Today we're going to be going over in-swing, out-swing, left-right, on doors. So if you have any questions on how to do that, we're going to make this real simple. There's several different ways of doing this, but we're going to show you the simplest one that works right every time. I'd also like to thank Select Door for sponsoring this video. If you have any door needs, any hardware needs, uh, door knobs, bath hardware, anything like that, uh, go to Select Door Hardware in Fort Worth. They service the whole Metroplex, DFW area, Dallas, Fort Worth. Give them a call. We'll put a link down in the description. So the easiest way to determine swing is uh, just open your door, put your back to where the hinges are, and then you're going to want to notice does it go to your left or to your right. For this particular door, it's left, so it's a left-hand door. Now, you're looking at everything as if you're viewing it from the outside. So on this door, it's a left-hand in swing because it swings in towards the house. So let's use this same door as an example. The hinges are just gonna remain on this side, but we're gonna pretend instead of swinging in, it swings out. So we're gonna put our back to the hinges. It's gonna swing right and to the outside. So it's a right hand out swing. And another thing you might run into is a double door. So here you have a primary door and a secondary door. And how you determine swing on this one Again, is you're just going to look from the outside, face the door, and you're going to say, is it, which one's my active? Is it my left or right? On this one, our hardware's on the left door, so this is a left-hand active. Okay, so we get a lot of questions about double door units. So if you open up your primary door, you're going to have the secondary door that's activated with flush bolts at the top and bottom. There's one at the top here. You're just going to push it down, and one here at the bottom. This one goes into your threshold, and then one up here goes into your header. So after you've released those two flush bolts, you're able to open this door, and you, know, you have a wider opening, you can fit furniture, or whatever you need through it. And then now if you want to shut this door, you just want to make sure your flush bolt lines up over the hole, push it down, and latch it in. And you repeat the same thing at the top. Well, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, click the bell notifications. Again, we'd like to thank Select Door. If you need anything in the Metroplex, give Select Door a call. Thanks a lot.